I think you just have to open it. And that's right. Okay. Um, just iPhoto. You open up a photo separately. It'll open it up with Preview. Okay. Um, comes up iTunes. There you go. There's all my music right there. Comes with iTunes. Fairly quick. Okay. Comes pre-installed with Photo Booth, which does that. Okay, I can change it from not only taking pictures, four pictures at a time, or I can take video, which I'm already doing with the ScreenFlow program. Okay, iPhoto. Okay. I don't have too much in here right now, but uh, let me go to Events. These are just pictures I've taken with my iPhone. Go and I open this up. Um, you can do that with iPhoto, back and forth between pictures. You can see what you've done in the last 12 months, last import, flagged. You can trash, and uh, there's your events right there that I'm already in. Photo shows you everything. Faces is, I have all my family set up just to show all you guys. So, uh, Faces goes through and you can select somebody's face, name them, and it'll find pictures with that person in them. Not like that. And that was the only picture I had of her. And there's my mom, just some dumb pictures right there. But, uh, found other pictures with her in there. Places. It shows everywhere on a map that my, uh, geotagged pictures have been taken. So there we go. It's spread across this map. And all your devices can be accessed through our photos as well. Okay, iMovie, which is the movie editing program that comes with the Mac. It's really, really nice. I'm loving it so far. This is probably like the main reason I changed to a Mac over PC. This is what I was looking forward to. Easily scan over your pictures or over your videos, pictures, blah, blah. Anyway, over your videos and see where you're at, stuff like that. I have these projects that I've done right here. These are up on YouTube and sort of go through there. It'll let you scan through all your pictures up here. And this is where you import the very top. Whenever, whenever you're ready, let me go into my Magic Mask review and have this all set up right here and I'm wearing the same shirt huh. but anyway um, you just take the clips from your top what you've imported you can drag them down here set everything up you have your where you can add music to it photos your text your transitions and uh, maps and backgrounds and everything like that so it's pretty cool that's iMovie Garage Band. <coughs> okay, uh, I've never really done anything with Garage Band, so I just know you can hook up things like instruments. Now they have USB keyboards, and uh, you can hook your guitar up to the audio in port. And there's that. Don't really know too much more about that. Let me see. App Cleaner was downloaded. Time Machine. I don't have my Time Machine set up, so I can't show you that right now. But uh, it's for backing up everything. Okay. System Preferences. This is where everything is right here. Okay, You can do everything. Appearance. Change the colors. The back, background colors. Desktop screensaver, of course. Um, all your settings. Your dock. You can change the size of your dock. You can set to magnify whenever you roll over your dock. You can change the positions. And Genie Effect is like, let me go ahead and show you that. Whenever I have something open and you minimize it, it will sort of go down in the Genie Effect like, you know, it's going in a lamp or something. There we go. And let me go ahead and change that to Scale Effect. Here's what Scale Effect does. I just that's it. So okay, let me change that back. <coughs> there we go. There's
there's that. Um, here's more settings. You can set up where you want your DVDs to show up and everything like that. Let me go ahead and show you where everything shows up for me. I have it set to go in the finder, so there you go. I just inserted a DVD. From here, you can set up your display, um, what resolution you want it, which of course you want it the highest. Everything, mouse, keyboard, sound. So you can see all this. This is extra applications like not notification applications, stuff like that. And that's system preferences. Okay, and as you see, I put the DVD in and it came on the desktop. So pretty much anything you put in, or uh, I put in an SD card in the slot. It'll show up on the desktop. It, I like it. It's pretty easy. Okay. And let me see. I guess that's pretty much it. You have your applications folder on here. Um, it comes on your dock already, along with your documents and your downloads folder. Let me see if there's anything else in here that I missed. There we go, I think that's it. Those are the main features of the Mac and the software that comes pre-installed with it. So anyway guys, this is Disturb614. Thanks for watching this video. And if you have any more requests or anything like that, just tell me and I'll, I'll work on it for you.